Yesterday, I asked an expert about the importance of feet and footwork in the martial arts. His immediate response was foundational. No one can fight successfully in defense or attack, he said, without paying close attention to the feet. So we're not surprised that Paul's third piece of spiritual armor against the attacks of the devil reads like this, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Paul is referring to the sandals of a Roman soldier, which helped him to fight on every kind of terrain and gave him good grip so that he could wield sword or shield effectively. With good footwear, the battle is half won before it has begun. The gospel of peace is our footwear, says Paul, which means at least two things. First, we need to hold firmly to the gospel of Jesus Christ ourselves, fully convinced that we are saved by faith in Christ alone, not by our good works or our performance. This gospel has reconciled us to God and it brings us peace with him through the death of Jesus Christ. We must be personally confident of God's never-ending love to us held out in the gospel. But secondly, gospel of peace reminds us that unlike secular warfare, spiritual warfare is accomplished through peaceful means, such as preaching and praying and persuasion. Christian armor is a metaphor only. We're never called to use carnal weapons, whether guns or insults, to fight the good fight. When Christian soldiers wear gospel shoes, when they are convinced by the gospel themselves and preach it fearlessly, then they will enjoy victory over the evil one.